everybody. Welcome to The Mix. I'm Julie Smith, your resident lifestyle expert. As you can see, we have stepped out of the bar today. We're hanging at the pool. Uh, we thought we were gonna have a pool party, but it's raining, but that's okay. It's still awesome because it's summertime and we are chilling and we have given our wonderful resident mixologist, Phil Armijo, the day off. Woo, that is cause for celebration right there. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Yeah, you're welcome. You need a break. You work hard. I appreciate that. Serving me all day, every day. You know, it, and it's a pleasure, actually. I, you know, it's no, it's not work when you love what you do. True. So. I know I wasn't supposed to do anything today, but I cheated a little <laughs> bit, and I brought some ready-to-drink cocktails. The most work you have to do is this today. Oh, oh it's in a, it's, so we're, we're talking about a can. That's it. Yeah, Sweet. so everything's already ready to go. We don't have to ready do to anything. Drink. We don't have to do anything. Just... Turn, no. turn it up. And we got some awesome flavors for you guys at home. All right, today. let's do this. We're so we're going to start you off with the blueberry shrub vodka awesome. soda from Dogfish okay. Head. Blueberry shrub vodka soda. So like, are they putting the whole blueberry, the shrub is like mashed up Joy. in there? Like, what? They're not putting the whole shrub in there. It says They don't shrub. want no shrubs. We don't want to. <laughs> I know, but it says it on there. So why, I mean, what, what so, does that mean then? Okay, so what they did. The, the shrub part comes into the maceration process. They got a bunch of dark berries, they macerated them with some sugar and some vinegar. Yes. That's it. That's where the shrub part comes in. The blueberry part comes in the vodka. Okay, so they gotcha. macerate the blueberries with the vodka during the distillation process, oh, so which releases the actual fruit juice oils into the alcohol oils of the vodka. Therefore, you get the true blueberry <laughs> flavor, not just a flavored blueberry. You get a. You know a lot of stuff. Like, how do you. you I mean, I guess this stuff. is what you do, but that's a lot of. Okay. Chemistry background. I'm right? over here like, that just that tastes guy. good. Right, whatever <laughs> you all good. did. Well, it's before all. It got mixology in the can. is down to the molecule. It's a. Yes. Yeah, so it's a we science. have to know that science. It's a science. Absolutely. You were a scientist. I was a scientist. Yes. There you go. Correct. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop this open for you. Okay. All right. Okay. Give this a blueberry shrub vodka soda. Let's see blueberry what we got shrub. here. Hold the shrub. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what I expected. That's really good. The flavor is really good. It's kind of a definitely. Obviously, the blueberry. Is there lemon in this? I feel like Not I'm getting a little. One. No. Not on that. There's one. something I've I'm tasting that's of kind of. Though citrusy as well, but it's really good. The flavor is awesome. I was thinking for some reason, just because it was in a can, that the carbonation was gonna be really, really strong. It's not, it's there, it's not, it's and you get it, but it's very, it's like yeah. goes down softly. Nice does that make any sense? Yeah, it does. And in that blueberry mashup that's in there as well, yeah. it's very similar to that one that we taught you guys a few episodes ago, how to make your own homemade blueberry lemonade. Mm -hmm. It's kind of similar to that concept. Yeah, that's really good. This is a nice, this is a very chill, chill drink um, and easy. That Again, that's the best part about it. I'm really <laughs> excited about this one. Uh, uh, this lemonade. one's gonna be strawberry, honey berry, vodka, honey lemonade. Honey berry. Strawberry, that? honey berry. Yeah, do you honey know what a honey berry is? Halle Berry. Not Halle Berry, come on, bring it back in, Phil. I know, Halle <laughs> hallelujah. No, but a honey berry, do you remember, I, I feel like I wanna say when you're little, cause I don't see them very much anymore, but remember the honeysuckle plants? Oh yeah. You were you playing when you're little and you just grab them and yeah, yeah kind of get the little Yeah, liquor. and I could never taste anything. It's subtle. I remember it being faint. <laughs> I could get a little bit, but I kept always trying to get more flowers Me and get too. more. Yeah, so this comes from the honeysuckle plant and the fruit uh, is actually like uh, a, um, imagine an oblong grape. Okay. That's what a honey berry looks like. Okay. And now I've, I've actually not tasted one myself, but the uh, everyone that I've heard from says that it's kind of the flavor is like a cross between a raspberry and a blueberry. Which, so like a fuzzy blueberry. But <laughs> I mean, maybe. Right? I guess so. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Raspberries have a little peach fuzz on. Ras well, not peach fuzz. Hey, there you go. We're getting all these fruits mixed in there. I feel like I want to now like breed all these fruits Ooh, we together. We should put some peach in. We there. should. We should experiment. Yeah, that would be great. I'm just gonna taste the drink, right? Okay, here we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. You're definitely drinking a lemonade. It's, it's like a, it's like a ballroom it's dance. Refreshing. The lemonade leads. The lemonade is the male, right. and then the strawberry. And I mean, that's just for ballroom dance, though, not in everyday life. I like Don't this get analogy. it twisted. I love this analogy, by the way. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. <laughs> anyway, but that is really good. So we've mm. got cherry bergamot whiskey sour. This is like I was telling Ooh. you, they take that spin on those classic culinary yeah. concoctions. The bergamot, I'd really only heard of that in terms of talking about perfumes and things when I'm, I'm smelling notes of this. So you that. have actually heard of it before. I've never, oh, absolutely, I it's an it. orange. It's an orange. It's, um, it's, it's this green orange, right? So it's this, actually Yeah, like it's right orange. here on the can. It kind of looks like <laughs> a lime with a lemon rind yeah. or a lemon peel, um, but that's a bergamot. And uh, it's, it's hard to find here, but it's native to certain regions of Italy. Right? Ah, where but, we're going. 
next of summer. Of course we yeah. are. When of we course take we the are. Mix, the Mix World Tour. That's the beautiful part about our show today, guys, is that we didn't make you bring all of these flavors mm -hmm. by handpicking mm. them or getting them organized and chopping them up and mixing them and getting your glass for it all, like we said. Yeah, no work zone. You them all right here. You could try them out. That way, if you find something you really like, you can actually go get it and make that. Yeah, when drink. you decide, like, this is my right. favorite. Now, okay. Here's the interesting thing with this one. I thought for sure when I saw whiskey sour, it's gotta be heavier, right? It's whiskey. Right. It's so it's got liquor. the whiskey in there. With the other ones are vodka, this is a whiskey base. So what is your opinion? You're getting here? the whiskey flavor, but not like that heaviness that you feel when you're drinking a whiskey cocktail, right? right? Not traditionally so a it's, summer drink. It's whiskey summer version. It's whiskey cool. in its swimsuit. There we go. <laughs> you know, whiskey wearing its swim trunks. Whiskey in a bikini. Go. That's what there it you is. Go. What's your personal preference? Where's oh, your gosh. Here? Well, let's see here. It's a really tough pick because here's what I think, Phil. Honestly, what's my mood? You know what I mean? Uh, Am I feeling like something fruity? Right. Um, do I want something a little, I mean, even the cherry bergamot, whiskey sour, it's still kind of got a little bit of a fruity flavor, but you got a little bit, it's heartier, I guess is the right word, <laughs> with that whiskey sour. So it's gonna depend on my mood. They're all really good, but I think if I had to pick one, it would be this strawberry, honeyberry, vodka, in. lemonade. Yeah. It's really, really kind of just, again, it's summertime. And that's the beauty of everything that you've shown me here in these cans, I'll you can get- i <laughs> Yeah, you. yeah, you're welcome. I'm, I'm a sharer. Personal to this yeah. one here. Cheers to that. Cheers. Good stuff. Ooh. So good. You want to take that for me while I grab us onto here. the next one over here? <laughs> got this more. one, I think you're going to really enjoy this next one here. This is Bacardi's Mojito. So mm. this is basically, it's a real rum cocktail. Okay. And we've got vodka, we've got whiskey. Now we have rum. We're bringing in the rum. On the table. And listen, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, summertime and a mojito, that's just like a given. They go Absolutely. hand in hand, right? Oh, mojito so is It's one of my favorite drinks, yeah. so. All right, Bacardi Synonymous. Mojito. This is a very simple label. Bacardi, Mojito. mojito. That's real it. Rum yeah, real there's not much rum to go there. cocktail. That's all that's on there. So you like, know, in a mojito, you got the mint. It's more, more so you're gonna have the mint forward uh, flavors on that. And do you, mm -hmm. do, you get, do you get the mint right mm -hmm. off the bat? Yeah. Too much mint? No. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I was expecting, I knew it would be good, but sometimes you, I don't know, when something goes in a can that usually, like if you go to a restaurant, you get fresh, but hey, we're traveling, we're gonna put it in a can. You lose a little you do something. Lose some. And sometimes it's too no. much. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes they like go overboard to try right. to like make, no, this tastes That's like a, a good, fresh awesome. mojito, and the mint tastes like, there's actually mint leaves floating in here. Wonderful. That is so good. Yeah, that's great. And I love mojitos, and this is a great way to keep it simple, you know? And mojitos are a tough drink to make sometimes. If you're doing them right and doing them correctly, there's a whole process involved in making a mojito. Wow. So yeah. Yeah, because I know sometimes you muddle other things and flavors in there, which I like yeah. that too, but just right. the simple. Yeah, and there's and there's also, in maybe in future episodes, we'll show you guys how to make some mojitos with different types of fruits. You always include the mint no matter what, that's the staple piece, but you can use flavored rums, you can use different yeah. uh, fruits to change it up for the season, it's pretty awesome. Um, speaking of this changing is, it up. This is my favorite so far. That, yeah, Front runner. I, I knew you were gonna like that one. Yeah. Um, this is my favorite one so far. This is okay. the Dirty Girl Transfusion. So the transfusion itself is an actual cocktail. It's very, very popular in the golf community. Like that's the name of a transfusion drink? Transfusion is the name I... of a drink, yeah. So it's very popular in the golf community. It's got grape juice in it, it's got ginger ale, and then Ooh. it's got vodka. Check, check, check. Yeah, all, all okay. wonderful. Something to take off the edge while you're out there stressing on the <laughs> sticks, you know, or sit, even sitting by the pool. I'm just a spectator. At the, wow. <laughs> okay, I did not expect that to be so, so. Ginger ale -y? Grapey. Oh, grapey, okay. Grapey. So it's the grape the is the more like, of the front It is now. Front runner on that. Yeah, I expected to get more ginger, because ginger ale is like a very distinct. Right, you, know, you get the ginger from the ginger ale, which is nice. But I get nice, grape first. Because it reacts with the grape. But yeah. You, you're saying the grapes. This is like a very lightweight grape juice, then with the ginger ale nice. flavor to it. I didn't That's know what to expect. I've never heard of this. That's a good one. That's the one, that would be my go-to. I love that one. Mm -hmm. I love, because I love ginger ale. Mm -hmm. So, wow. it's a great one to go to. Bill. You always hook me up. Hey, you know, I'm Thank just giving you. you some options over here, guys, and options for you at home as well. So now you know we've ran you through a whole taste profile of these drinks. We got some vodka, whiskey, and some rum. I'm glad you were able to have me over. Hey, look, the sun, <laughs> the sun. Is that a little glimpse yes. of the oh, sun? I'm getting so excited. But here's the this thing, again, <laughs> on a day off, even if it's if it was pouring down rain right now, the beauty of it is we can kick back, That's enjoy right. these cocktails. And just pop the can. No work zone. Pop the lid, no work zone. That's what it's I'm talking day about. Off. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. 
one. I'm all about the, the, um, the honey berry, the honeysuckle. The, the, okay, <laughs> honey chill. Honey berry, honey blueberry, 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 honeysuckle, yeah. strawberry, lemonade. Yeah. Vodka. What the heck is that? That was a whole leaf stuck to my lip. What was that? <laughs> it's a shrub. <laughs> Did y'all see it? You can see it, right? Yeah, the carbonation is subtle. Oh, oh God, Rocco! <laughs> yeah, Rocco! <laughs> That's all the time we have for you guys today. If you want to see some more episodes or you want to catch the next episode we're about to shoot, please visit themixga.com. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe by clicking the link below. Right there, right there. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Peace. <laughs>